all are at Disney because we love the old films. To get to make an actual well-made cartoon is of the noblest calling. You know, it's a short little piece. It's really entertaining. It's fun. You know, a little, uh, you know, appetizer, if you will. I've made a difference in a small way in someone's life that made them happy, even if it's just for five minutes. Hello, I'm comedian T.J. Miller, also the voice of Fred in Big Hero 6. School mascot by day, but by night. <laughs> I'm also a school mascot. We're here to talk to some of the greats in the Walt Disney Animation Studio Shorts program. Do not watch this before you've seen all of the shorts. You should not be delving into bonus material until you've already seen the material. Some people sort of say, well, why make shorts? It's a good question. Studio-wise, the history of the studio, Walt Disney Studios was Mickey Mouse shorts. And for so many years, there were cartoons in front of movies and everyone liked it that way. What's also really cool is the shorts, you can track the technological innovations. You know, the old mill was yeah. the first multi-plane camera. Um, Flowers and trees was the first color. Synchronized sound came through Steamboat Willie. No one was convinced that animated feature film could sustain audiences' interest, right? The idea that someone could sit there for longer than an hour and watch cartoons was, was crazy. I think they thought it would, it would cause like some kind of physical discomfort or nausea or something like that. Which is what they said about 3D and I've thrown up after every movie. <laughs> Tell me a little just about the shorts program. Is it once a year? Is it once a year, really? Once a year you get the opportunity no to pressure. pitch to John, yeah. <laughs> and I think this year we had somewhere like around 130 people came in. John makes the final call and everyone's, you know, got their ideas and they usually have the one they love and they're, they're scared to pitch, but they go through the process. Yeah, you want a story that can be told. In five to seven minutes. But he's really sizing up your sense of entertainment and your sense of humor, really, by your ideas. More the person than the idea, and I think that's why he said, when I presented my ideas, these are the three best ideas I've ever heard, but I don't <laughs> like you as a person. <laughs> and so I didn't quite make it into the program. She thinks you're an idiot. Well, clearly she's wrong. Oh, oh, whoops. Whoa. <laughs> what? It's fine. The short, I assume, is a safer kind of endeavor to attempt different technology. Lorenzo, my short, was a whole new technique. Joe Grant, this great legend of Disney's history, had this idea of a cat that gets a jinx put on its tail by a black cat. It was gold in my hand, you know? And I had done some of these loose paintings. We can't make it look like the paintings, but what if we could? So one of the tech guys manipulated them to make the cat actually move with those paint strokes. The stakes are so much more graspable yeah, than when you're trying to do it on a giant feature mm -hmm. and the stakes are really high. And that's why we try and get our shorts to Go out there and try something different. Put a new look up there. Well, and you did the inverse. It was started with CG sort of models, and then the, the lines went over it. And that was also development of a new technology. Completely new technology for that short. Very flat computer graphics rendered with light going through them. I heard when they saw it the first time, they really just said, we should make a feature like this. Is that true? Well, it had taken us months to get this first shot up. And we brought them in, sat them down on the couch, like played the shot for them. And then all of us holding our breath, and Ed Catmull sort of goes, I, I could watch a whole story like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone passes out, yeah. including them. Yeah. Do you guys find that it's nice that you could draw from earlier animation, but then juxtapose that with sort of modern problems and comedy? Well, with the How to Hook Up Your Home Theater, you know, the idea came about when my wife let me buy a new TV. A conservatively sized unit is the most prudent selection. Which is a rare occurrence, right? <laughs> and, uh, All great art comes honey. from tragedy yeah. and being allowed to buy something. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. That's been my experience, really, over the years. 
We got to go to the ARL, which is the Animation Research Library here in Burbank. We got to actually go and look at those drawings and paintings from some original Goofy shorts. Of course, we had to put white gloves on. But, like Mickey Mouse had to. Yeah. They, he was handling yeah. something. It's a famous. requirement when you yeah. come to work here. When we went to the ARL for the Mickey shorts, we were looking at the super earliest drawings of him. That was like 1928. And they wouldn't even let us touch them with gloves. Really? There was this lady who came out, and she has a little spatula, yeah. and she takes one little drawing, really? and she lifts it up, and she flips it, and then we're like, oh, I think he moved. Yeah. And I had the idea of what if you just literally yank him out of the screen. We had an opportunity to introduce it to this first crowd of people and say that it is a long lost short. Then when they come out of the screen, <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, people could die from excitement. Shock. No, but they would make Lauren come out with a like an overhead projector oh, and so white great. gloves. Yeah, and we, we made some fake early drawings and early cells, and so I would get them come out and say, and found in the long lost estate of someone who was Did you use that voice? I it, pretty that. much. Yes. yes. <laughs> it worked so well that someone tried to actually make off with one of the drawings at Annecy because they thought, this has got to really be worth something. Really I love that, that someone in the audience was watching and said, I can't believe they had the foresight to know that they were cellular <laughs> phones. I mean, look at that horse, <laughs> those sunglasses. <laughs> Do you enjoy making shorts as much as a feature? Animation in any form is a marathon, and with shorts in particular, we've kind of gotten into a rhythm of, you know, instant gratification. I was just going to say, it's instant gratification to, compared to the five to how many years it is to make a feature. Yeah, how long is your instant? How long did it take to make so those shorts? Basically, the Operation Secret short. Santa took us about, from beginning to end, about six months. That was very fast. <gasps> Great garland! Nessie took... Uh, like, I don't know, three years or something? Mm, instant gratification. <laughs> 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 and a powerful short is almost more impressive than a powerful feature. And so thank you guys. I can't even imagine the shorts that are coming our way. Some of them might even be longer than shorts. They'll be mediums. <laughs> <laughs> Were we rolling for that one? <laughs> <laughs>